It's not uncommon in perimenopause to experience symptoms of estrogen excess because as we're headed towards menopause, we might be on some roller coasters a little bit with our hormones and in particular estrogen is the one that goes for a ride. So I have a lot of symptoms here and perhaps you're experiencing some of them, fatigue, bloating, swollen breasts, mood swings, migraines, headaches, panic attacks. These are some of the most common symptoms that I see associated with hormones that are on a roller coaster as we head into perimenopause and menopause. So what the heck can we do? Well, I'm going to talk about that in a little bit, but I want to mention a few things on here that might not be as obvious first. So if you're having some abnormal pap smears, so you're having cervical dysplasia, meaning abnormal cells showing up in your results when you're having your paps, sometimes that could be an indicator as well as other things that you're having estrogen excess. Another big one is an autoimmune condition. Autoimmune conditions are directly related to excessive amounts of estrogen in females, and there's over 105 autoimmune conditions. So this is something to really think about. So if you've just been diagnosed with an autoimmune condition, you want to know what's going on with your estrogen levels. The other biggie, if you're gaining weight in the belly, the thighs and the hips, that is a huge sign that estrogen is on a roller coaster for you. So take note of all of these different symptoms and get tested. You can use the Dutch testing, which is the dried urine testing, or you can use your regular serum blood testing. I do recommend looking at your cycle the second half, so after your period from day 19 to 26 to get a really good idea of what's going on with your estrogen, but not only that, your progesterone, because low progesterone is usually the cause for why we've got some estrogen excess things going on as well. So stay tuned for my next video. I'm gonna talk about all of the causes of excess estrogen and what you can do to help correct the situation. I'm Dr. Janine Krause. Thanks for listening.